Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the step-by-step -step breakdown of how I made this cab explainer animation project from beginning to the end. In the very beginning, I picked my sketchbook and started doing some rough sketches to get the basic idea of the overall scenes. I also did some research on cab UIs and then jumped into Illustrator and started making the basic shapes. First I started with the UI design and then designed the elements required for the UIs. I also reused some of the elements from my previous projects. Then I did some experiment with the different color palettes from Adobe Color. Once I'm happy with the color combinations, I moved on with the character illustrations. And here I am with the illustrations I would need for this explainer animation project. So then I separated the layers as per my requirements to prepare the file for animation in After Effects. Now let's check out the After Effects workflow for this project. So the animation starts with a girl standing outdoors, looking for a ride, picks up the phone to open a cab booking app, selects a car type and then books the cab, then contacts the driver and the driver reaches the pickup location, girl gets in and the driver begins the ride. After they reaches the destination location, the girl adds a review to share her experience. So this is the overall idea of the project. Now let's jump into After Effects. In After Effects, I started with the first frame. I rigged the character with the help of Twig Basel plugin. So I rigged the face with twig connectors and picked a 2D slider for this one to rig the face of this character so that I have an option to animate the character's face in both in X and Y axis. Now after that I parented all the facial elements with a null. I then created three set of keyframes both in X and Y axis of the position property. One neutral pose, a up and down pose and one sidewise pose and then linked the properties with the sliders in both in X and Y axis. Then I linked the other elements linked with the head with the slider in the same process. And now this character's head is fully rigged to animate. To animate the face, I only moved the slider controller in the direction I wanted it to move and here it's turned. To animate the side hairs, I used pin tool and then converted the pins into bone layers with the help of twig bezel and animated the bone layers rotation property and offset the keyframes. So here is how it looks. And then I moved on with the hand rigging. So to rig the hands, I again used twig bezel plugin. I picked an arm structure to rig the arm and then animated it with the help of the twig controllers. So in the first frame, the character picks up the phone and in the next frame, the scene cuts to the close-up view of the hand holding the phone. So to add a match cut, here I use the motion of the hand to maintain the continuity of the scene. In the hand close-up shot, I change the perspective of the hand when she is picking up the phone and bringing it closer to the camera. So I scaled up the hand layer when she is moving the hand closer to the camera and adjusted the shape path property of the forum layer accordingly. To animate the hand, I used the rotation property to bring the hands into the scene and then rotated the individual fingers and the joints to animate the finger tap and swipe. Here, I also could have used Dwig structures to rig the fingers but I wanted to add some follow through later on, so I animated it manually. To add some perspective on UI, I oriented the UI composition in 3D and then animated the UI with basic scale, position and opacity property of the layer and then animated the line strokes with trim path. So after the cab booking, I again added a match cut for the hands closer view to the girl in front view and here I again used the motion of the hand to make the scenes look continuous. In this scene, I reused the face rig of the character from the first frame and then added some lip movement here as well. So for that, I animated the shape path property for the lip layer. So here I added a split screen. So for that, I used alpha track mat to bring the next frame into the scene. So here I rigged the face of the characters with Dwig connectors again. So I picked a 2D slider for this one as well. To animate the curve, I added up and down motion keyframes for position property in a loop. 
then animated the background in this frame so animated the trees illustration layers skill and position property in a loop to animate the background in perspective so after that in the last frame i brought in the curl character in the cap and added some overshoot and follow through for the curl character body with the help of head neck and body rotation and offsetted the keyframes to add the follow through and then the clip ends in a close up view with the curl giving a review of 5 stars to animate the hands here i again use the similar process from earlier so i use the rotation property of individual layers to bring the hand into the scene and rotated the fingers and the joints to animate the finger tap and swipe okay so these are the steps i used throughout the project and the project is ready to render So that is it for this video. I hope you learned a few important tips and tricks to help you in your projects. If you want to learn how to rig face of a character with quick connectors, you can check out my other videos on character rigging where I explained it in full details. So I will be linking that in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorials. Also if you want to learn how to rig hands for UI animation. Then you can check out my other videos on UI animation where I explain this whole process in full details. So I will provide the link in the description and you can also click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorials. And lastly if you want to learn how to animate UI in After Effects, you can again click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial or I will be giving all the tutorial links in the description as well. You can check it out from there. Okay, so that is it for this video. If you like the video, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques, then make sure to comment down. I would be happy to help you out. And if you're here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.